Hello and welcome to my video. Today is an insect collection update. So I got some really good points and I got some pretty bad ones to talk about. Starting off with the fact that um, I have managed to sell. If you remember my previous update, I had some baby margin wing stick insects. I ended up with 16 and I sold 10 of them and kept 6 myself. Um, of those 10 I sold to someone that I believe is manageable to keep stick insects, as he is on the Australian invertebrates form, and he seems like he has somewhat of a good knowledge, which is what I'm looking for when I'm trying to sell my stick insects. I don't want to sell them to people that don't know what they're doing, and usually when you do that, you give them away to people that won't be able to look after them properly and they'll die which I don't want to do. I always want to make sure that I'm giving to the, them to people who know what they're doing. And hopefully this one likes to get onto the leaves. Yes, maybe. There you go. He'll crawl up. Um, so, starters. I have currently um, 16 spiny leaf insects. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five adult females and I think five or six adult males so and they're pumping out eggs I got a hundred and six this week which was a lot of eggs um, so that's spinies and then I have three children's stick insects that all came in on these species of leaves from the park um, they're my uninvited guests they just come in on the leaves don't even realize they're there and then they just appear in my enclosure with some random place and that's how I got them. I got three of them. Some of them are fairly big. Um, there's one down here. You might be able to see it. The lighting ain't too great. I uh, broke my lamp, so... Uh, you should be able to see that one right there. Focus in a bit if I can. Yeah, there's one right there. Um, so I got three of those. So I got this one up here. Yeah, you can see that. That's a children's thing. That's, a, that's an adult male. I got it as a um, free sub adult. So there's spinies. Um, I'll put this down and I'll continue in a second after I close this up. Okay, so continuing on with my steam insects, these are my large steam insects enclosure. So they have all the larger species. This is a female Goliath that's decided to climb on the camera right now. But uh, this is a large species enclosure. I'm kind of blocking the camera view right now. It's like coming over the side. Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Climb over the side. Like you do. Should probably come onto the camera again, but anyway. Um, so, the lighting's terrible, but I still have seven Goliaths. One of them is a male, adult male, right at the back there. And, oh, that's a female, that's a big one. The yeah, same size as this. All my females are at the same stage in life. All quite big. I think they're pre sub adult. If you look at this one, I think it's a pre sub adult. It might be sub adult. I uh, haven't bothered measuring her yet. Measuring her. I'll measure her. She's got really spiky legs. Hurts after a bit, but that's right. So my male test letter died, unfortunately. Um, he died um, at a very late age, an old age for a male test letter to insect. His life expectancy was six months to die before he did die. He lasted six months over which is very unexpected, and he lasted <laughs> a, a long time for a t male. And this is my female, still alive, still going strong. Uh, this is my margin wingster. Like, look the size of him. He's getting huge. Uh, it's female, by the way. But um, she's getting huge. She's huge, like, um, pretty doing pretty good. Uh, my three small ones, he molted, and you can see that little stub is getting bigger. Uh, so he's regrowing his leg. Uh, this one just molted. This is another one of my smaller ones, and you can see the legs there. She, she ate the rest. I mean, yeah, she ate the rest of her molt. So I can close this one up pretty easily because they're not running everywhere like the spinies do. Which, by the way, the spinies are such a pain to replace the leaves because they like to run everywhere. No so, more secure system. Okay, so I don't have crickets here anymore. Instead, I had them outside in a big container. So I still got my little female in a different enclosure, but you can tell the 
less vegetation. Her enclosure is up there now. I know less enclosures up here, which is sad. But, um, which is the sad part of this. But, uh, my arch mantis in there. You probably can't see it. Or it's in that enclosure down there. You've seen it before. It hasn't altered much. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Here's my male Tesla. Here. So he died, unfortunately. Here's a few spiny eggs. Um, well, there's different spiny eggs. Spiny eggs. Uh, tessellated eggs. And Didymura eggs. Uh, I can't remember what species. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, violet, violets. Violet, um, stick insects, I think. Spur-legged, spur-legged stick insects, that's right. Um, and then, mantis time. <sighs> I've only got four Hyrodula Magiscula now, uh, the giant rainforest mantis. Uh, my males, all three of my males died. Um, they all died. One of them died from being eaten alive by that one there. Uh, and the other two died of old age. One of the other two that died of old age mated with Vicious, who laid an ooth in there. It's just strapped on with a bit of tape right now, which is fine. I reckon that works. Uh, this is baby. She's no longer a baby anymore. She's sub adult. She's pretty big. And then I got nothing in there. And so I'm down to four. I right, and my other female that I had, large female, she died of old age. Um, which is not a problem. She lasted a year and a half. When I got her, she was only an adult, so it's not a problem with that. I'm not too disappointed. So anyway, continuing. Uh, this is where I keep the crickets in now, next to the lounge. Um, so there's crickets in here. Uh, there's got like a little cricket house there. I'm not going to open it up or anything. I've got another video um, of my setup already, so you can go check that out. So you continue on. Here's the extra part, the extra good part of the video. And here. I got this new enclosure from minibeastwildlife.com.au and I have tons of red wing stick insects. You can see them in there. And up there. And back there, that's a that's a that's a big one. Back there. That one's that's about as big as I'm gonna sell them up there. Uh and then up there you can see two of my margin wing stick insects. Um that's how big I sold them as. Ten of them, I have six left. Three males, three females. Um, so, yeah, I keep this in enclosure. There's uh, estimated about a hundred um, red wing stick insects in here. So, replacing the leaves is impossible to pick them one by one. So, you have to, like, chuck new leaves in here and then let the old ones, like, die in here. Just dissolve to the point where you can pick them out. And there's none on there. Because they're not stupid enough to eat them. You can see here... Red wing string insect eggs, margin winged eggs that have all hatched, which is good. And hope they, I'm getting an estimate, I'm getting an average of one per day, uh, red wings, but yesterday I got seven of them. So they are just everywhere. Um, I will sell them on the invertebrates form soon enough. Forum, sorry. Um, I'll sell them there. Soon enough, I'll sell them at that size, but there's not enough to sell just yet. Uh, that is a first in star, no, maybe second in star. That's first in star, that's third in star. I'll probably sell them about there. Yeah, there's another one up there about the same size, so I'll sell them that size because third in star is about what you want to sell them as. So, people of the invertebrates form, you know what to expect. I'm not going to sell you things that die in the post. But uh, when I did sell the um, um, margins, I did send a free first in star red wing sting sex. Uh, that just came for free. So it wasn't guaranteed to survive and as far as I know it did. He sent me an email back, he said one of my margins died and the red wing, he didn't say anything about it so I'm pretty sure it was fine. And in here this is where I had um, Dudwing that died. It's a bit dirty. I cleaned all the other enclosures, but I haven't cleaned this one. 
So, um, anyway, thank you for watching my video. Uh, please comment, like, feedback, and, um, yeah, goodbye.